Okay, we're going to create our um, network surface, which we're going to use to create our um, boot last. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to leverage our uh, record history command to allow us to refine the initial shape. Uh, a network surface is a sur surface that's uh, created uh, by a series of uh, overlapping curves in two different directions. So in this case, these curves are moving, uh, ver define the vertical uh, shape in this direction. And then we have these curves, this set of curves that uh, transform in the sort of horizontal direction. Okay, uh, all line, your lines have to touch. Every curve, each line has to touch at least one curve in each one of your sections in order for the network to work. So let's go and we type in the command network surface. Okay. And it asks you to select the curves in the network. Sometimes you can just select all of them like that and right click. But uh, this, when it doesn't do that, it usually indicates that uh, all your curves aren't intersecting tightly. Okay, but don't worry about that because you just have to uh, select your curves in the two directions as we stated before. So, but before we do that, let's. Um, I'm going to do it once so we can see how the command works, and I'm going to do it again with uh, record history on. So I'm going to start with these uh, curves right here, and you note that it says select next closed curve because that's a closed curve. So this is the first direction. Okay. These are all closed curves, and I've selected them. Now I'm going to right-click, and then it says select first curve in the second direction. We're going to go here, 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 and there, and then I'm going to right-click. And we've got a good network because this window has uh, uh, come up. And we can turn on preview, and this will give us an image of what our curve will look at like. And right now, we have two types of edge matching that we could do. We have positional. Uh, tangency here and we could move it up to uh, loose and that's more uh, loose but positional it usually goes through each one of the curve edges with loose sometimes it, it it doesn't okay but this gives us our the shape of our the general shape of our of our curve okay I'm gonna hit cancel because what I want to do uh, so that we can actually uh, leverage the power of uh, record history in our work is that I'm going to um, do a I'm going to click record history first before I execute the command and I'm going to bring up my network surface command again and I'm going to select the curves in the network and I'm going to do it manually and see if this helps like that and then I'm going to select these it might ask me to to redo this again because it might have problems but see as I did there I, I, I sort of uh, sorted them manually and it shows me my curves and I have my curves uh, like so okay but I recorded history uh, this time so that now if I go underneath this surface right and I click on one of my curves right here let's bring up that curve and let's go to the um, front window or let's go to the right go to this point of view and I'm gonna turn on my um, front view right here and you notice that I change the shape if I go in and I turn my points on if I come in here and select this curve point and do an adjustment on it let's say I bring it out here like that you notice that my surface sort of updates to reflect that curve. And I'm going to turn off some of my snaps. I'm going to turn off my ortho snap. And so now I can actually use this to sort of refine the shape of my curve. Okay. Let me go to the front view and I'm going to turn on the, uh, the right hand side right here. And I'm actually going to go in and I'm actually going to turn on the foot so that I can see the foot. And I'm going to select this curve right here. And I'm going to hit, um, turn my points on. 
And you notice that this is there's a big transition in the foot here between the foot and the boot. And I want to make that a little bit more subtle. And I can sort of soften that, that transition between the two. And it's a wonderful way for you to refine the shape once it's been modeled. You can get in there and you can refine the shape of your model after, after with the record history on, you can sort of refine the shape and to get it to begin to conform a little more to your model. Like in this case, I'm going to turn the points on and I want to bring that heel in a little bit. Around here. I'm going to get that curve point right here. And so this provides a means, and I want to get, I don't want to have a kink in there. And this helps to refine your shape here. And I want to bring this one out a little bit. And so it allows you to refine your shape, like so. And so it begins looking a, a, a little bit better here. Uh, I don't like... Um, this transition here. Let me see how many points I have to play with there. See if I have a curve point that I can. Oh yeah, there it goes right there. I want to get that curve point right there and go into the um, right hand side. And I want to pull that out a little bit so that that sort of softens that. But it's a nice way to to slightly edit to edit and refine. I, I don't like that cankle right there. And I'm going to soften that, that that bulge right there by doing that. I'm going to raise that up a little bit. And that flows in a little bit better. It's not so, it's not so harsh the way that that uh, flows into flows into the foot there and I look at that and that feels a little bit better okay and so it's really important that if you uh, before you do your network surface that if you turn on record history you can um, you, you can um, uh, still refine your surface based on the history of the curves that are in the network let me turn off my um, reference images um, that I have uh, visible right now uh, because the last step, let me turn off the foot because we don't need to look at that, is that uh, one of the things, let me create a new layer and I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to call that layer network surf. And I'm going to change the object layer. for the network surface. Okay. And one of the things that I want to do at this point is that if I were to look at the surface and I did a rebuild, uh, it's a very complex sort of network surface. Okay. And I want to sort of simplify it a little bit. There's 97 in U and 39 in V. Uh, I'm going to cut this down to 30 in U. I don't want to preview that. Um, let's go 20. Okay. 20 and 20. And we're basically reparametizing the surface and making it a lot simpler. And I uh, notice that I've captured that, got rid of that kink in the foot there. And I'm going to reduce this so that I wanted to get rid of that kink, but I sort of wanted to retain that. And so that now when I click OK, 
and that breaks my history okay now I've sort of really simplified the form of my boot and the reason why I want to do this is so that when I start uh, pulling surfaces and I start slicing this the object isn't as um, complex as it uh, was initially and let me come down to this layer and turn my curves off and that's basically the shape that I'll use for my um, boot. I'm going to stop right here and in the next uh, part of the tutorial we're going to uh, finish this off by we're going to cap this off and we're going to um, add the bottom to this so that we complete our um, so that we complete our our foot last and if we look at the we bring back in the foot uh, you'll note that here that I might have to enlarge it or make a slight adjustment here make a slight adjustment there in order to um, accommodate uh, the shape of the last, but in actuality, um, uh, to my concept of for this design, uh, I would actually uh, create a solid foot right here, so that the foot's actually incorporated into the last. But here is your here's your basic last, and uh, we're going to do some minor. In the next tutorial, we're going to do some minor uh, adjustments on its shape. We're going to add the bottom, and then we should be. Uh, on our way and, and ready to uh, go into the detailing phase of our of our model.